Locate the programmer, which is usually by the boiler, and the thermostat, which is, in my case, in the hallway. Then unpack your hive unit, which includes a programmer unit with batteries, the boiler control unit, which will replace the current programmer, and an internet hub, which plugs into your broadband router, or in my case, a switch. So find your switch, and then connect your hub to your switch or your router, and then download and install the Hive mobile app to register your hub with Hive. The next thing you'll want to do is to isolate the power supply for your boiler, which is here located next to the programmer. Once you've done that, you want to unscrew the two screws from the bottom of the programmer and remove it from the wall. And then using a voltage meter or some kind of voltage tester, you just want to make sure that all of the terminals are actually dead and that you've properly isolated the supply. Then go back to your thermostat and take off the cover, which has one screw on this device. Again, using the voltage tester, make sure that the terminals inside aren't live. Now we're going to make sure that the wires coming out of the thermostat are the same wires going into the programmer. So we're going to loop them over each other after unscrewing them and then go back to the programmer and do a continuity test to see if we can make a circuit. If we've made a circuit, we know that the wires are completely related and then we can remove them from the wall. If removing them from the walls isn't completely practical, then we can simply put a terminal block on them, push them back into the wall so that they stay there and they don't make contact with anything else. Now, if the backplate to your programmer isn't standard, such as this Danfoss TP9000 we're replacing, because it has the extra wires for the thermostat, we need to replace it with the one supplied with the hive. So we're going to unscrew the one on the wall at the moment, put this one on from the hive, all of the terminals should be labelled exactly the same way, the live, the neutral, and all the numbered ones. You may find it useful to use the labels that came inside the Hive booklet so that you don't get confused when you screw them back in the same place. Remember to terminate the wires from the thermostat here as well if you haven't removed them from the wall. Now you can place the Hive boiler unit onto the back plate and secure it with two screws. And once you've done this, you can turn the supply back on. Now we need to fix the Hive programmer back plate wherever you want your new thermostat to be. I'm going to use the same location as the old thermostat. Put batteries into the Hive programmer and wait for it to connect. If it only says connecting, you may need to try turning everything off and back on again. And if that doesn't work, then you may need to call the Hive contact centre during their working hours because sometimes something goes a bit funny at their end and they can sort it out for you. And once you've done all of this and it's all connected, you can then set your water and heating from the programmer, from your phone or via your computer. The first time you set up your water and heating schedule, it's probably easier to do it from a computer browser because you can see everything in one place and it's much simpler to drag and drop all of your times this way. And there you are. I won't tell you how to use the apps because they're all quite self-explanatory. Enjoy!